This video is about replacing the distributor in my 1971 MG Midget. This distributor came with the car when I bought it 20 years ago. There were a couple of um, broken pieces that I JB welded back together and it's held up okay for the last year or so. Uh, but I think it's, it's a little worn. I took it apart and cleaned it when I put it back in. But I think that uh, it's worth giving a new distributor a shot. There's a bit of a um, bit of a misfire on one cylinder. I'm not sure which or if it's if it's varying, but um, I think it's worth changing the distributor because they're pretty inexpensive. So here's my old distributor. This is the vacuum hose that connects to the advance. Need to loosen off. Let's see if you can see that this square nut right here, which is what tightens up the distributor, so you can rotate it and take out that bolt and the corresponding bolt on the other side. <clears throat> and then the distributor, take off the cap first, and then the distributor uh, will just slide out. And then the new distributor should slide in in the same location, and uh, then we'll just have to set the timing. I ordered a distributor from Amazon. I think it was about $130. I'll put a link to the, uh, to the product that I bought. This is how it came. Came in the box, wrapped up in tons of bubble wrap. And it does have a cap on it, but the cap is a, a different design than the one that's on my car. They're the same shape at the bottom, but this one has the plug leads coming out of the top where mine come out of the side. On first look though, it looks basically the same as the distributor that I have in there. And uh, this is a 25D distributor. I think it's stamped on there somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. So it looks a lot like the original, but it's not quite the same. It's missing the little spring-loaded piece underneath the uh, the advance wheel. But the, the diaphragm design looks to be the same and uh, came with came with the O-ring, which I wasn't sure if it would. And it, it obviously turns nicely because it's brand new. But what I'm going to do now in the beginning of this video is open it up, uh, set the points, set the gap on the points, and then take out the old distributor, pop this one in, and uh, then set the timing again from the start, and then see if it makes any difference in how the car runs. Here's the inside of the distributor. Comes with a new condenser, points, rotor, and uh, it does have some setting. The, the gap is set, but I don't, I'm not sure if that's... It looks too wide to me, uh, but I'll measure it and uh, I'm going to take it apart, lubricate the inside and see how it's all assembled, see if it looks, how similar it looks to the original. This is the, uh, the advanced retard dial, it's missing the little retainer that came on my original, the spring-loaded retainer, but it's got a, um, an O-ring just sitting on these threads, so I assume that you set the, um, how far you want it advanced and then maybe move that O-ring to hold this in place. But I'll come back when this is in the car and do the static timing and then uh, we'll see how the car runs. Actually, just before I decided to put this in the car, I thought I would show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Uh, all the pieces seem to move really nicely and uh, looking down inside, there's, it's just, there's a little bit of grime in there, which I'll clean out, but it's, it's pretty good. And um, there are the two different sized springs. I'm not sure what, what this distributor is set up for, but I don't know what the distributor in the car is set up for either, so I think that uh, you can see that the heavier and the lighter spring, the lighter spring engages first, and then the heavier spring takes over. But that's the centrifugal advance. Um, everything moves freely. Um, there is there are, there is grease. Somebody, you know, the, the installers did grease it up a little bit, but I'll probably add a little more and uh, probably a little, put a little bit of oil in there too just so that uh, when this gets in the car, it's, it's all set to go. But everything looks pretty good. You know, the quality for our, I think it was $130, $130 seems pretty decent to me so far. This is probably something that most people know, but to set the gap on your, on your points, just rotate your distributor until one of the high points on the shaft um, is touching this piece right here and then you can adjust with a screwdriver if you've loosened off this screw then you can adjust 
with a screwdriver this piece right down here and it'll open and close the gap so you can see it open and the number that we're going for is uh, 0.014 to 0.016 so my feeler gauges uh, 0.014 and 0.016 those are the only two sizes I have I don't have a 15 so And you want to just just pull a little bit. So this is a like I said a 14 .014, and it just grabs a little bit. So now I'll tighten down that Phillips screw. Check the gap again in case it moved. Still seems good. So I can finish putting the stripper back together and put it back in the car. It's been about six months since I last tried to get this distributor working. This is the cheap one that I bought from Amazon. And uh, I did have it installed in the car, um, as I say, probably six months ago. And I couldn't even get the car to, to crank over even once. So I've replaced the points in the condenser uh, with known good ones. And uh, for the whole summer, I've had to run the old distributor, and which... Ran okay, but I bought the new distributor because the old one seems to be a bit worn out. So my hope is um, now the season's pretty much over. And uh, before I start into some other mechanical stuff, I'm going to give this one one more try. Um, the points are already set. And uh, I'll drop it in and line it up and set the initial timing and see if it'll fire up. So before I pull this out, there's the orientation of the original distributor. And uh, so I'm just going to set the uh, the new cheap one about the same as close as I can get it and then uh, we'll try and fire the car up and hopefully the new points and condenser make a difference and it's this it's this uh, slop that that kind of and there's a bit of play in the shaft in and out and and rotational which is what makes me think that this distributor might be causing some of the misfires that I'm having so I've loosened off this bolt right here, and carefully the distributor should slide straight out, which it has. There's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two distributors, and like I said, they, they seem really close. Um, I'm going to take some measurements and just make sure that, you know, diameters and lengths and so on um, are not, that there isn't something that I've missed somewhere, but... Um, they, as I say, they look really close. So I'm going to take some measurements, and if they all look good, then I'll pop the new distributor in, and we'll try and crank it over. The cheap distributor lined up as close as I can get it to how the uh, previous one was lined up. The car hasn't moved, and uh, the brake is on, and so I'm going to put the cap back on, connect the plugs, and try and start the car.
All right, let's give it a go.